Whoa. Whoa, there's a rock there. Look at these bears. Yo. Today I'm riding the closing day of the Big White Bike Park, but I'm recording with the new camera. Hey guys, I'm here to show off the new GoPro Hero 13. I'm pretty stoked on this camera and GoPro sent me this camera with all their lenses a couple weeks early so that I could make a cool launch day video for you guys. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit late on this video and that's because I had a bit of a crash and also my computer started acting up, so I apologize for the delay. I wrecked my new ultra wide lens, actually, as you can see here. I had a bit of a crash. I will show you that at the end of the video. So one of the coolest things I think about the Hero 13 is a brand new field of view that you've never been able to get with any other GoPro before. It's called Ultra Super View with the use of the ultra wide lens. Now, if you've had the Hero 12 with the Max Lens Mod 2.0, you may think, well, there was Max Super View on there, but it's actually different. But what I love about this GoPro Hero 13 is all the new lens options that you got. So here we got the ultra wide lens, very much the same as Max Lens Mod 2.0. Obviously there's a standard lens and then you got ND filters. There's a macro lens, which I think is super cool. Wait a minute, look at this, look at this. You can even rotate it to change focus. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, the ND filters, right. Oh my goodness, is this a new battery? There's a few more little updates, like they've got the new magnetic mounting system, which I think is so awesome. It's much needed and you can still use the legs as normal. So I think that's pretty cool. The battery is a bit bigger this time around. So you got more battery life. They got a little grill in the front here. It's supposed to help with overheating. So basically this camera is supposed to be a lot better than any of the previous cameras with regards to battery life and overheating. So the Hero 13 with ultra wide lens has now five field of view options in comparison to four of them that the Hero 12 had. The Hero 12 has linear, wide, ultra wide, ultra super view, ultra hyper view. The Hero 12 though had linear, wide, Max Superview and Max Hyperview. So Max Superview on the Hero 12 has been renamed to Ultra Wide on the Hero 13. It's exactly the same. I've done all the comparisons. You can see them right here. And then Max Hyperview and Ultra Hyperview are also identical, but the Hero 13 introduces one right in the middle called Ultra Superview, and this is my new favorite one. So it's just the same kind of warping algorithm as what regular Superview has, but it's just wider both in the sides and top and bottom versus, you know, if you go to the Hyperview or the Ultra Hyperview, it's just so warped. I don't really like the uh, the crazy warping that those ones have, so I've never been a fan of Hyperview, but Superview I've always liked. So Ultra Superview is my new favorite field of view on these cameras. Also, I love that you can now do log mode with the ultra wide lens mod. You were never able to do that on the Hero 12. So for today's video, I'm riding in the Big White Bike Park. It's actually the closing day, September 2nd, when I filmed this, riding with the new Ultra Superview field of view. That's pretty cool. I just want to give a big shout out to Andrew with the Big White Bike Park for hooking me and my friend up with wow. a place to stay out here and giving us complimentary lift tickets. I always love my trips out to Big White and thanks Andrew for showing us all the new goods out here. Now let me show you all the best stuff this bike park has to offer. See now I'm feeling good on the bike. <laughs> all right. All right, we're gonna do black slabbeth here. I'm all warmed up. This is our like fifth run or something. What? Oh. oh, look at these jumps. That's new. Cool. Lots of different routes. Super fun. Oops. Okay. That is fresh. Look at these. Oops. Nice. Super fun. I love it. Nice. What the frick? Oh my goodness. Okay, that's awesome. That's sick. Yo, I'm feeling pretty good considering it's my first run down it today. Yeah, I'm feeling good on the bike. I wasn't, wasn't feeling the best at first. You just need a good warm up. Oh. 
Oh, frick. Shoot, okay. Joker. So this trail got remade and I'm pretty excited to see what it's like. Ready to go? Let's try it out. Let's see what this is gonna be like. Oh. Just riding it super chill for the first time because I just don't know what to expect. Okay. I was intending on riding this trail at least one more time. However, that crash I had where I broke the lens that meant that I jump. didn't have a chance to ride this again. So this is the only clip I had of this trail. That's a longer jump. That is also long. That's quite long, what the heck? Whoa. Okay. Ah, oh boy. Okay, you used to be able to go on top of that rock, I think. Ha. <laughs> cool. I always like the bike rack setup for the lifts at Big White here. They never seem to have any problems with fenders, unlike the Whistler lifts. These are really nice and simple, and I feel like Whistler could take a few pointers. How you finding the trios? Oh, it's super good. Yeah? Super fun, yeah, yeah. Okay, here was kind of a cool little... Whoa! Oh, shit! Okay. That was whack. So this is all new, check this out. We totally remade this uh, lower half of Gecko. Sick. So cool. Knockout. I don't know if I've ever ridden this trail. Maybe we'll see. Cool. Oh. Nice. <laughs> what the heck? Squirts. New work on this one. Pretty cool stuff. Sick burns, look at these things. Woo! Yo, that's pretty awesome. Whoa! <laughs> My, okay, a little bit of a drift. Now, these berms are awesome, actually. I know, sick. You see my rear wheel drift? I swear to God, that was a sick move. <laughs> that was I funny. I was like, oh my God. That's sick. Yeah, that was not on purpose. Oh, okay, I thought like you did a move. No, no, no. Stack deck? Okay, stack deck. Let's, uh, let's do full stack deck. There's two segments of it. Lots of sick berms. So good. Look at these berms. Yo, I'm feeling good. That's sick. <laughs> we got a sick new wall right up here. Whoa! These berms are sick. Wall riding it up. That's awesome. Nice. And then a single block section of stack deck. That was cool. That was my best, I think. Yeah, I was railing the berms really good. All right, let's uh, let's look at this. Nice. Cool. Okay, yeah, I've never ridden this before. Sick. Huh. Oh, this is nice. Whoops. Whew. 
That was nice. Huh. Whoops. Yeah, this is built well. I like this. Nice. That's a good way to finish. Rock hammer. Ready to roll. Hey guys, let's do some rock hammer. Advanced riders only. This one gets rowdy. Frick. Oh, okay. That was a bit of a weird line. Sick. Whoa, there's a rock there. Whoa. <laughs> I was feeling a little awkward. Man, that was rowdy. So there's one thing I'm kind of disappointed with here. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can kind of hear some rattling noise from the GoPro and it's from that magnetic clip mount. It's not quite as tight as I was hoping. I wasn't sure if you'd ever hear it in the footage and it turns out I can hear it a little bit. I don't know if you guys can notice. What do you guys think? Oh, oh they really built that up a lot. Trout dark roast. Haha. <laughs> Proper drop. Oh. Nice berms. That's sick. Okay, I want to check this line out. What the heck? Frick. Shit. Ah. Oh, I think I hit my bash guard there. Frick. That was so sketch. I thought it was easier before. Frick. I really hit something. I think I can even see it. It's very rowdy. There used to be another rock that's gone. Yeah, that's what I thought. Supported, yeah. I thought it was easier before and now it's like something's gone and I'm, I didn't know what to do. There we go. Now before I show you the little crash that wrecked my new ultra wide lens, I want to show you some footage with the ND filters here. Okay, this is ND filter 16 flat mode. We got 240 to the second manual shutter speed. ISO max 100. I think these are really cool and they can get you some pretty professional looking shots if you know how to use them. The ND filter allows you to go to a slower shutter speed so that you get a bit more motion blur while still keeping the right exposure. They're only useful in bright settings like this. Oh, sick, look at that rock work. So this is the point where I had a little crash and I wrecked the lens of my GoPro. So here's the weird thing. I was recording with my Hero 13 and it stopped automatically right, right here. And I think that was something to do with the impact that the camera went through 15 seconds later. You'll hear some beeps right after I crashed. Try it out. Oh, 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 Out. No. Are you okay? Thank you. Uh, 
just relax, just relax. Sit down. Yeah. Is the shoulder okay? Yeah. It hurt my wrist. You hurt your wrist? Yeah. All right, so now you've seen the crash. That was kind of lame. At least it wasn't very high speed or anything. It's kind of dumb that I did that because here I am trying to be careful, trying not to crash again because of my big crash I had back in May. And then I go and do this goofy thing. I landed kind of weird on my left elbow. We got x-rays, the doctor even wanted a CT scan. Nothing's like broken or anything, but there's just kind of a chip that kind of came from one of the joints, it was super weird. So that just takes a bit of time. I'm doing some therapy to uh, get my arm all back together again but shouldn't take too much longer. So what are my thoughts so far about the new GoPro Hero 13 after riding it for a bit? Well, my first thought about this magnetic mount, um, I'm a bit disappointed with it because it's not quite as tight as I was hoping. Just seeing if you can hear this. But GoPro has said, if you're using it for higher vibration activities, it's best to just use the original legs. So that's fair. But I was just thinking that mountain biking with the camera on my chin mount of my helmet would have been stable enough, but it's not quite. So for mountain biking footage, I'm gonna have to go back to using the regular legs on the Hero 13 here. Otherwise, I'm super happy about it. I can tell the battery life is a bit better. So here's the funny thing, cause I broke this lens and you can tell that there are scratches on it, right? Like, that's uh, kind of unusable in my opinion, um, especially with that one big scratch right there. So then I'm thinking, well, wait a minute, I have the GoPro Hero 12 with Max Lens Mod 2.0 and the ultra wide lens, they look identical. So is it just the same? I wanna actually test that out and see if these lenses are interchangeable. All right, so what you lose going down to the Max Lens Mod 2.0 on the Hero 13 is you lose that auto detect feature, which I don't really care very much. You just have to go into the menu lens attachment and you just manually choose what lens you have. You manually select Max Lens Mod 2.0. So if we go to settings, yes, log mode is here on the Hero 13 with Max Lens Mod 2.0. And yes, you get all five field of view, you get ultra super view, all five of the fields of view. Um, it's all identical to the ultra wide lens mod. There is not a single difference at all to using Max Lens Mod 2.0 or ultra wide lens on the Hero 13. This is very good news. If you already own the Max Lens Mod 2.0, it means you don't need the ultra wide lens. And it's good news for me since I broke that lens and I can just use my Max Lens Mod 2.0 and nothing changes. What do you guys think of the new GoPro Hero 13? I got affiliate links down below where I get a small commission, doesn't cost you anything. And also, if you're looking for any new jerseys and merch, make sure you check out my Boostmaster collection with hand up gloves. Use code BOOST24 for 10% off. I'm pretty stoked on the whole tie-dye design that we've made here, my whole design. I'm loving it, so I hope you guys will love it too. So make sure you check out my merch at handupco.com and my code boost24 for 10% off. And make sure you check out my last week's video where I did a heli ride on my new budget bike. That was a super fun ride. And if you're in the market for a new bike and you don't have all the money in the world, check out the bike I was riding, a Polygon N7. It's a really good value bike, so check out that video next. Thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you guys next time.